today we are going to be subtracting mixed numbers. So just like yesterday, we're going to be using mixed numbers. A mixed number has a whole number part and a fraction part. I'm going to be using pictures again to help me. So for this first one, I start with 4 and 6 eighths. So I have 4 holes and then I have 6 eighths of another hole. And then I'm going to be subtracting some of these. So I'm going to first subtract my two holes. So I'm going to X out two of these holes. And then I have 4 eighths that I need to subtract. So I'm going to cross out 4 of those eighths. So what does this leave us with? What is the difference? What is our answer? So how many holes do we have left? And one, two. So two holes. And how many eighths do we have left? One, two. So two eighths. This chapter we always, and forever, want to make sure we simplify our fractions. So two eighths we can simplify. We can divide them each by two. So that equals one fourth. <coughs> so our answer is two and one fourth. Okay, my second example problem. We have three and one fourth. We're going to subtract one and three fourths. So I'm going to draw my picture three holes, one fourth, and we're going to subtract one hole and three fourths. So I'm going to start with my one hole. So there's one hole I subtracted. I need to subtract three fourths. So I get rid of one fourth. I still need to get rid of two more fourths. So I'm going to have to divide up one of my whole numbers. So I'm going to divide this whole into fourths, since fourths is what we're working on. And I needed to subtract three fourths. I've subtracted one. So I need to, so I need to subtract two more fourths. One, two. So in a sense, we're kind of borrowing as as we might say, from one of our whole numbers. So what do I have left? What is the difference? So I have one whole left. And then how many fourths do I have left? I have two fourths. Now that you've been practicing simplest form all this chapter and some of last chapter, you can probably do two fourths in your head. Um, so it is one half. If we look at that picture, if we circle the parts that are left, we can tell it's half of that circle. So the more you practice these, they'll become kind of automatic for you. Okay, try this one along with me. So first of all, draw five holes and then two thirds. If you need to pause for a second, you can. And once you have that drawn, we'll continue on. So here are my five holes and my two-thirds. Now that we have that, we need to subtract three holes and one-third. So go ahead and cross out three of your holes. One, two, three. And then we need to subtract our one-third. So cross out one of your thirds. So what is the difference? What do we have left? Well, how many holes do we have? One, two. So two holes. And how many thirds do we have left? One. It's one third. One third is in simplest form. Whenever our numerator is a one, we know we can't divide by anything besides one. So if you divide by one, things stay the same. So we always know if there's a one in the numerator, that that is in simplest form. Okay, do one more with me. 
So start drawing your four holes and three six. Here's mine. Four holes, three six. And then we need to subtract one hole and five six. So subtract one hole. And then we need to subtract five six. You'll notice I only have three six. So I'm going to need to divide up one of my holes into six so that I have some more sixths. So I can subtract three, but then I need some more. So I'm going to divide up this other hole into six more sixths. So I subtracted three. I need to subtract five. So three, four, five. So what am I left with? How many holes? One, two. And how many of these six do I have left? One, two, three, four. So two holes and four six. Can I simplify four six? Well, they're both even, so I know I can divide them by two. So that's going to equal two thirds. So two and two thirds is our answer. Okay, here's your first problem to do on your own. Three and three fourths. Subtract one and two fourths. Remember, we always want to check at the end if we can put our fraction part in simplest f form. Number two. Four and five six. Subtract three and two six. Number three. Five and one third. Subtract two and two thirds. And last of all, six and two fifths, subtract one and four fifths. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.